Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, the 19th of November 2023. On this Sunday morning, let us listen to the Avyakt Bhaptata's Murli, which was originally held on 3rd of April 1996. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is, as well as doing service, become free from your old and wasteful sanskars by having an attitude of unlimited disinterest. Let's hear the essence once again of today's Avyakt Murli on 19th November 2023. Baba says, as well as doing service, become free from your old and wasteful sanskars by having an attitude of unlimited disinterest. Om Shanti. Today, the unlimited father is seeing his unlimited, constantly cooperative companions. What is Baba seeing? Baba says, today the unlimited father is seeing his unlimited, constantly cooperative companions. You constantly cooperative children in all directions are constantly seated in the father's heart, on the heart throne. The incorporeal father does not even have an immortal throne of his own, whereas you children have so many. So, Bab Dada is constantly happy to see you children seated on the heart throne. Wah! My children who are seated on the throne. The children are always happy to see the father. All of you experience happiness on seeing Bab Dada and Bab Dada is also pleased to see all the children because each child is a special soul. Even if a child is the last number child, even while being the last number, he is still in the list of a handful out of multi-millions. So, does the father have greater happiness on seeing each child? Or do you have greater happiness? Everyone says both. The father has so many children. The more children there are, the greater the happiness he has. Whereas, you only have double happiness. That is all. What is Baba saying? The more children there are, the greater the happiness he has, whereas you only have double happiness. That is all. You have the happiness of the family, but the father's happiness is permanent. Is your happiness permanent or does it fluctuate? Bab Dada asks us, is our happiness permanent or does it fluctuate? Bab Dada believes that the breath of Brahmin life is happiness. What does Bab Dada believe? The breath of Brahmin life is happiness. If you don't have happiness, you don't have a Brahmin life. It is imperishable happiness, not happiness that you only experience sometimes to a percentage. Happiness is happiness. If today you have 50% happiness and tomorrow you have 100% happiness, then your breath of life is fluctuating. Bab Dada also told you earlier that even if you shed your body, your happiness should not disappear. So, is this lesson firm or are you still a little weak in this? Have you underlined the word constantly? What would those who only experience this sometimes be? Those who have constant happiness are those who pass with honours, whereas those who only experience this sometimes have to pass through the land of Dharmaraj. Those who pass with honours will return with the father in a second. They will not stop anywhere. So, who are all of you? Those who go back with the father or those who stop? Everyone answers, the ones who go back with the father. Baba asks, does your chart show this? All of you know what Bab Dada's special hope for every child is in the year of the Diamond Jubilee. Do you not? Bab Dada saw the charts of all the children. What did Baba see in them? According to the present time, one particular aspect needs further special attention. You are moving forward in service with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm. Everyone has special zeal and enthusiasm for doing service in the Diamond Jubilee. You have all passed in this. Each of you is doing service according to your capacity and will continue to do so. However, what is now specially needed? Baba is asking, 
However, what is now especially needed? Baba says time is coming close and so according to the closeness of the time, what wave should there be? Everyone says disinterest. What kind of disinterest? Limited or unlimited? Do you have the stage of having unlimited disinterest according to the need of the time? To the same extent as you have zeal and enthusiasm? The success of your service is when the subjects are created as quickly as possible. This is why you do service, is it not? Until you instrument souls have an attitude of unlimited disinterest, other souls cannot have an attitude of disinterest. Let's hear that sentence again. Baba says, until you instrument souls have an attitude of unlimited disinterest, other souls cannot have an attitude of disinterest. You want everyone to receive the father's introduction, but they cannot receive it unless you have an attitude of disinterest. Unlimited disinterest is permanent disinterest. If you have disinterest according to the time or the circumstances, then time claims number one and you claim number two. Because it is due to the circumstances or the time that you have inspired or it is according to the circumstances or the time that you are inspired to have disinterest. Once the circumstances finish and the time goes by, your disinterest also finishes. What would you call this? Unlimited disinterest or limited? So, you now need to have unlimited disinterest. Baba says the main basis for losing disinterest is consciousness of bodies. Unless there is disinterest in body consciousness, there cannot be permanent disinterest in anything. There is only temporary disinterest. It is not a big thing to have disinterest in relationships. In their hearts, many people in the world also have disinterest. However, here there are various types of body consciousness. You must know these types. You do, don't you? You know the details of your numerous types of body consciousness. However, after knowing all of these different types of body consciousness, you should be able to have unlimited disinterest and your body consciousness should change into soul consciousness. So what is Baba telling us? You know the details of your numerous types of body consciousness. However, after knowing all these different types of body consciousness, you should be able to have unlimited disinterest and your body consciousness should change into soul consciousness. Just as body consciousness has become natural, so soul consciousness also has to become natural in the same way. In every situation, the word that comes first is the body. In terms of relations, you speak of the relations of your body. If they are possessions, they are possessions that belong to your body. So, the main basis is body consciousness. When you have body consciousness in any form, you cannot have an attitude of disinterest. Let's hear that again. Baba says, when you have body consciousness in any form, you cannot have an attitude of disinterest. Baba saw that at present, the reason for the obstacle of body consciousness is that you do not have disinterest in the old sanskars of the body. First of all, you need to have disinterest in the old sanskars of your body. Sanskars bring your stage down. Because of sanskars, there are obstacles in the service you do and in your connections and relations. So, Baba saw in the result that for as long as you do not have disinterest in the old sanskars of your body, you cannot constantly have unlimited disinterest. Sanskars attract you to themselves in various ways. Where there is the slightest attraction to something, there cannot be disinterest. So let's hear these two sentences again. Baba says, Sanskars attract you to themselves in various ways. Where there is the slightest attraction to something, there cannot be disinterest. So check, am I free from my old and wasteful sanskars? No matter how much you try, 
and you do try to have an attitude of disinterest some or even the majority of you have such strong sanskars in some aspects that they pull you to themselves so first there has to be the disinterest in the old sanskars baba asks us why do the sanskars emerge even against your conscious wish you don't wish them to but they do emerge because you haven't burned them away in their subtle form baba says you don't wish them to but they do emerge because you haven't burnt away their subtle form a trace of them still remains they are hidden and involuntary they emerge at the same time you then say i didn't want to but it just happened so what can i do it just happened who is saying this body consciousness or soul consciousness therefore bab dada saw that you still have some weakness in having an attitude of disinterest in your sanskars you have finished them but you haven't finished them to the extent that not even a trace of them remains where there is a trace of them there will also be their progeny if today there is a slight trace then according to the time that takes the form of its progeny it puts you under an external influence what do all of you say just as the father is knowledgeful so too we are also knowledgeful however what are you when the sanskars attack you knowledgeful or knowledge pull so instead of being knowledge full you become pulled by knowledge you are not knowledge full if any of you were to be asked you would say yes i do understand that it should not happen and that i should not do that but it happens so at that time are you knowledge full or are you pulled by knowledge those who are knowledge full cannot be attacked by any sanskars any relationships or any positions let's hear that again baba says those who are knowledgeful cannot be attacked by any sanskars any relationships or any positions so you are celebrating the diamond jubilee diamond jubilee means to become a diamond that is to be one who has unlimited disinterest there isn't as much attention paid to having an attitude of disinterest as there is enthusiasm for service there is carelessness in that you say everything is moving along fine it continues to happen at the right time everything will work out fine is time your teacher or is baba your teacher who is your teacher baba asks us if you transform yourself according to the time then time is your teacher if your creation is your teacher is that right when such circumstances arise what do you say it will be all right at that time it will work out fine you even reassure the father don't worry everything will be all right and we will move forward at the right time baba asks us does it suit you master creators to make time your teacher do you like it no time is your creation and you are the master creators it doesn't suit you master creators to have your creation become the teacher of the master creators so now in the time that bab dada has given you make your attitude of disinterest emerge when there is a pull of service the attitude of disinterest finishes because you receive happiness and power by doing service and you also receive the instant fruit while you are doing service unlimited disinterest finishes therefore awaken this attitude of disinterest within yourself what is baba saying while you are doing service unlimited disinterest finishes therefore awaken this attitude of disinterest within yourself was it you who became this a cycle ago or was it someone else you were this were you not now simply allow that which is merged to emerge just as you make practical plans for service emerge and this is why you achieve success in the same way now make your attitude of unlimited disinterest emerge 
no matter how many facilities you have attained and day by day you will receive more facilities do not let your spiritual endeavor to have an attitude of unlimited disinterest be merged make it emerge let there be a balance of the facilities and your spiritual endeavor as you progress further matter will become your servant you will receive regard and respect but while having everything do not let your attitude of disinterest decrease baba now asks us do you experience an atmosphere of an attitude of unlimited disinterest within yourself or have you become busy doing service just as people of the world are able to see the impact of your service they should also be able to see the impact of your attitude of unlimited disinterest what was the stage of all of you at the beginning baba says when you were in karachi there wasn't any service you had the facilities but by making the atmosphere one of an attitude of unlimited disinterest you increased service so all those who are celebrating their diamond jubilee have the original sanskars but they have now become merged now make this attitude emerge once again the attitude of unlimited disinterest of the original jewels enabled establishment to take place what is baba saying the attitude of unlimited disinterest of the original jewels meaning those who were there at the start of the gyan enabled establishment to take place therefore now in order to establish the new world make that same attitude and same atmosphere emerge again so did you hear what is needed baba says if you did not have any facilities and you say that you have disinterest who is going to believe you it is while having the facilities that you have to have disinterest there is such a vast difference between the facilities of the early days and the facilities now the spiritual endeavor has become hidden and the facilities have become visible acha it is good to use the facilities use them generously because they are for you but do not let the spiritual endeavor become merged there should be a complete balance you tell people of the world to become like a lotus flower you tell them to become like a lotus flower while having all the facilities the facilities are not bad in fact they are the fruit of your karma and your yog however it is a question of your attitude it shouldn't be that you become trapped in the expansion of the facilities and come under the influence of the facilities should it Baba says become as detached as a lotus flower and loving to the father while using them do not be influenced by them stay detached so what is baba telling us about facilities while using them do not be influenced by them stay detached do not let the facilities make your attitude of disinterest become merged at present there is a great need for this everything in the world is going towards the extreme and so there has to be an attitude of true disinterest you are the ones who will create that atmosphere first within yourselves and then within the world so now baba asks so what will those who are celebrating the diamond jubilee do you will spread the wave will you not all of you are experienced you experienced it in the beginning you had everything eat as much real ghee as you can but nevertheless have an attitude of unlimited disinterest people of the world eat real ghee that is clarified butter but you used to drink it you have seen rivers of ghee the special task for those of the diamond jubilee is to have heart to heart conversations since you are all together now just as you have meetings for service so too have meetings for this for what bab dada says when you wish to become bodiless in a second the foundation for that is this attitude of unlimited disinterest otherwise no matter how much you try you will not be able to become this in a second you will be caught up in battling where there is disinterest that is fertile ground whatever you sow there the fruit will emerge instantly 
So what do you have to do? All of you should feel that you too have and have to have an attitude of disinterest. Achha, do you understand what you have to do? Is it easy or is it difficult? Will there be a little attraction or not? Will the facilities not pull you to themselves? Baba asks us. Baba says, you now need to practice this. Whenever you want, wherever you want and however you want, you need to be able to set yourself in that stage in a second. When you have to do service, do that service. When you have to become detached from service, become detached. Let it not be that service pulls you so that you cannot stay without doing service. You need the willpower to do what you want, as you want, when you want. So, let's hear that sentence again. Baba says, you need the willpower to do what you want, as you want, when you want. Do you have that willpower? You should be able to stop as soon as you are told, stop. It shouldn't be that you put a full stop and it becomes a question mark. Full stop. Not even a stop, but a full stop. You have to be able to do what you want practically. You want to become this, but it is difficult to become this. So what will you call this? Do you have willpower or just power? As soon as you have the thought to finish all wastage, finish it in a second. Bab Dada also told you earlier that many children say, we sit down for yoga, but instead of yoga, we are battling. They are not yogis, they are warriors or yodhas. If you have the sanskars of battling over a long period of time, what will you become? Baba asks us, part of the sun dynasty or the moon dynasty? As soon as you think about it, it should happen. For something to happen as soon as you think of it is a matter of a second. This is known as willpower. Do you have willpower? Or is it that you create very good plans, but out of 10 plans, only 5 happen practically? It is not like that, is it? You think very well, we will do this, this, this will happen. However, there is a difference in it happening practically. So, you now need to have such willpower that you experience something being already accomplished as soon as you think of it. Let's hear that again. What is Baba saying? So now, you need to have such willpower that you experience something being already accomplished as soon as you think of it. It is seen that at Amrit Vela, when you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the father, you say very good things. I will do this. I will do this. However, what is the result when night comes? You make Baba very happy by speaking such sweet things, such good things. Baba becomes very happy. Wah, my children! You say, Baba, whatever you have said to us, it has to happen. It is already accomplished. You speak very good things. Some reassure the father so much and say, if it weren't us, who else would it be? Baba, we are the same ones every cycle and they become happy. Are those sitting at the back listening carefully? Baba now questions all of us. Will those sitting at the back do this before those who are sitting at the front? You are sitting at the back but you are close in the heart. Why? You did the service of giving others a chance. So the servers are constantly in the father's heart. Don't ever think that if you were also dadis, you would also... Baba leaves it to us. You are not in front but you are in the heart. The heart too is not an ordinary heart. It is a throne. So, you are those seated on the heart throne. Are you not? No matter where you are sitting, whether in some corner, down below or in the cabin, you are in the father's heart. To all the souls everywhere who have the most elevated fortune and are seated on the throne, to the special souls who constantly make the atmosphere that of an attitude of unlimited disinterest, to the special souls who constantly use their elevated specialities, to the close souls who constantly experience the company of the One Father and the Hand of Srimad, 
Bap Dada's love, remembrance and Namaste. And we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's blessing, may you become an embodiment of total success by knowing the significance of being faithful to the one and pleasing the bestower of blessings. Blessing once again, Baba says may you become an embodiment of total success by knowing the significance of being faithful to the one and pleasing the bestower of blessings. Baba explains the blessings of the father, the bestower of blessings are infinite and whoever wants some can take as many as they want. The treasure store is open. Some children become full from that open treasure store whereas others become full according to their capacity. The innocent Lord in the form of the bestower of blessings fills your aprons the most. You simply have to know the way to please him and you will then receive total success. The bestower of blessings loves one expression the most and that is being faithful to the one. Let there not be anyone else even in your thoughts or dreams. Let it be in your attitude that you belong to the one and none other. The aprons of those who understand the significance of this remain constantly full. Finally, the slogan for today, serve with your thoughts and words simultaneously and you will continue to receive double the fruit. Slogan once again, serve with your thoughts and words simultaneously and you will continue to receive double the fruit. Acha Om Shanti.